What's up, dude? I'm just out here doing it. Out here doing it! What the hell is up, guys? You know the drill. It's Tyler Nolan. Pepe. Welcome to the freaking show! So, today, the day is finally here. Look at this. Got home. Woo, woo, the heck is in there? Vision cages, baby. Fresh, brand new. Hello. Fresh new vision cages. Brand new, no more used ones. I've only ever bought used vision cages before. These are, this is the first time in my life. Brand new, freshies in the box. I'm really excited about it. Are you excited about it? Extremely. What the heck is behind you? Is that a boat trailer? Woo! What the heck? Why do I got a boat trailer? What is this for? I thought you got rid of your boat. Maybe I got a new boat. I think I did. That'll be the next video. But for now, we're gonna open up these boxes and get these cages set up inside. Finally. Woo! Freshies. Oh man, is it like a, does it have like a new vision smell? Ugh. Oh, give it a little, give it a little sniff. Oh, that new vision oh, smell, that's baby. Better. That's better than anything. <gasps> so good. Brand spanking new. Another thing, taking note, man. This packaging, dude. Look at the way that they package the glass. Super, super secure. Hopefully, none of it is broken, but I would assume that it's not, because they really take the time packaging everything great which is huge when you're ordering cages because I've ordered cages before off of Amazon and stuff especially with glass they come to your house and they're already broken it sucks it's great to see that vision takes such time packaging their products Obviously, I still have to hook up the electrical, which I'm gonna do off camera because obviously that's super boring. But pretty much, I just grab these light fixtures right here, these guys, screw them into the top, wire them to the bottom, easy peasy. Some I keep on, some I keep off, depending on what the cages are. Like obviously, the arboreal stuff doesn't need a whole lot of heat. Cobras are different. Um, yeah, awesome. Let's get the, uh, gotta break the glass out, set the glass up now. So check these out. Looks like Vision has stepped it up yet again. Check it out. New tempered glass. They got these new slides on them, which just feels way smoother than the other ones. Now these other cages have this, have this clear glide on the bottom. But dude, these are awesome. Black, dude, looks great. Oh yeah, that's real nice. Oh yeah, sweet. All right, so the first snakes that I'm gonna set up in these are those baby black spitters. Now they're tiny, they're little tiny babies. And I don't wanna take any risks with them getting in between the glass. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just taking some weather stripping like that, putting it on the edge of the glass. So that way, when the pieces of glass go together in the vision, there's no gap in between and no little baby snakes can sneak out of there. So this will be perfect for them. Boom, just like that. Bada bing, bada boom. Obviously, I'm gonna order some more showcase locks for these cages. I 
don't have them right now, so it's gonna go all the way top to bottom. But once I get the showcase locks like this, I just gotta order some more off of Amazon. I'll put the link down below in the description. Great locks to use for these cages. Put one right here, bada bing, bada boom. Baby Cobra is going to be super happy inside of here. All right, so the first snakes to get new cages are gonna be these little black spitters that I got. Let's check these guys out. They've been doing pretty well. Gets the proper heat and everything. It's a little bit, a little bit harder to keep on top of uh, temperature inside these little deli cups. So let's see how she's gonna act today. Or he, she. This is the girl. Let's see, yeah, crazy little spitter. How are you? Now these guys are nuts. She just, I don't want to mess with them too much because this one, see, he's got a little lump in his belly. This one ate. This one ate a couple days ago. Hey, come over here. So it's such a cool, oh my God. Yeah, that spit is crazy. But what a pretty little cobra, dude. Jet black cobra. Hey, Alex, nope. grab me the, uh, grab me, grab me some water real quick. Let's get this guy, get this guy some water. Spitting all over me, of course. Watch out, Kayla. Don't get, don't get got by this little guy. Got a nice little shed ball right here. Put that in his cage. That about right there. What a pretty black snake, man. Just waiting on Alex. Give me some water. Fill that bad boy up. Cool. Got some water. Put you like that. Now you see, this is the reason why I did the weather stripping in the cage. Just because he's a smaller cobra, you see how much he flattens out his head like that? Now they can actually, you gotta be very careful with baby snakes because with these visions, when they're little like this at first, oh my god, he just got soaked. When they're little like this at first, they can slip right through the crack of this glass. So you always wanna make sure that this strip, you get these weather stripping just like this, that way they cannot get out. That is muy importante. You do not want little death worms getting loose in your snake room, because it is not fun trying to find them. Granted, it's an escape proof room, but still, trying to, trying to find snakes in a room that can kill you is never a fun situation. So this is the smaller one. Now this one, oh, this one looks like it is about to be in shed, which is great. So I tried feeding both of them yesterday. One of them ate, as you can see, the other one, which is this one, did not eat. So hopefully once this thing sheds, yeah, you can see the eyes are a little bit opaque. So she should be shedding soon. You can see she's not even like completely black, but, oops, sorry. Come here. Alright. Little tiny babe. Boop. All of her. Boop. All over again. Right on my face. Boop. And again. And again. Whoa, you can literally see and again. Like Crazy. These guys spit, spit, spit. Pretty gnarly. Hey. Go this way. Right in your cage. Thank you. So just like that. Look at all this venom on my face screen right here. Whew. Crazy. I would be super screwed if I did not have this thing on me. So now that we did that, let me go wash my hands, wash this face mask because I don't want to leave venom on anything. So I'm going to go get all that done and we'll finish up this vision video for you guys. Booyah. So Still got to set up all these other cages. I don't even have snakes for these cages. Like, I have these two vision cages that are open that I'm waiting for some animals. So if you guys want to keep an eye out for me, much appreciated. I really want a Mangshan Viper really, really bad. I've been waiting for years already. I've been waiting for Tom to breed them. It's just I'm sick of waiting for Tom. Hopefully that happens soon, but I don't know. So if I find one, 
let me know. Wag lips viper, maybe. So hopefully I can find some snakes for those cages eventually. And then I have these two, three foots over here, which who knows? And there's another four foot vision right here. I actually traded my buddy Todd that was just in town that I got the baby leucistic from, Kilo's girlfriend. He traded me. I had that albino sunset cobra up top. I traded him that albino sunset for a female spectacle. So stay tuned for that video. We're gonna be pairing up the spectacles together and hopefully trying to get some baby specs at some point. That's gonna be awesome. Also, Fascination Herp online. I got, this is like over a month ago during COVID. They just haven't been able to ship them because of COVID. I got two Naja Atras Chinese Cobras, okay? And they're a different color morph. There's not your typical dark Naja Atra. This is, I'm gonna leave it as a surprise for you guys. So those guys come in soon too. So maybe I'll put those two Cobras in here. Sick Chinese Cobras coming to you hopefully shortly. I talked to them a couple weeks ago and they said if the if Delta doesn't open up shipping that they're gonna drive to Atlanta and ship them down here for me. So we'll see. That's it. Snake room is looking pretty awesome. Got a dope tower of visions right here. This looks great. I'm gonna throw the beaded lizards back up here. They'll be nice and nice and happy up there because these cages are honestly perfect for them. I was going to set them up in visions, but there's honestly no reason to right now until they get bigger and then I can introduce them with each other. So I'm going to get back to work. I still got a lot to put together in this room. Super boring. I don't want to put you guys through it. Thank you for watching. Kayla, thanks for being the camera girl again because hopefully this video came out great. It wasn't Alex filming. Peace out, guys. Till next time, make sure you like, you comment, and subscribe. If you watch my channel and you're not subscribed already, Please, 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 go subscribe, turn on your notifications so you don't miss any videos. Stay awesome, stay safe, stay beautiful, stay gangsta, all that crap. Peace out, till next time, later guys. Bonus footage, baby. It's been a minute. So figured, why the hell not? This video needs a little bit more excitement. Let's show you how she's doing. She just ate yesterday. This is the new baby. Little Kilo's girlfriend. I don't want to really mess with her too much. I just want to show you guys how she's doing. She just ate a little, she just ate a little mouse yesterday. But look how cute this little Kobe is. <laughs> like what? She is awesome. Now she's so tiny. Look how see-through she is. Can you see through her hood right there? So, with the light going through it. Such a badass little cobra. Can't wait for her to grow up and make me some babies with Kilo. Little Kilo babies. Did we come up with a name with her yet? Did we name her Snow? Is that her name? We said Pearl or Snow. Pearl or Snow. I honestly like Snow. I think Snow is a really cool name for her. Look there, a little hissy hissy. Relax, let me put your head, let me put your thing down. Relax, you relax. Look at her, what a spazzy little camera. Hey, how are you? What's going on? You're so cool, love it. She's super digging her cage, nice and happy. You're awesome, boom. Figured you guys wanted to see her again, so. There you go, all right, peace out.